Hello everyone! So, um, this was not going to be a YouTube series. I was just going to play off screen, but I actually thought this might be a good idea for a series. Uh, anyway, I'm playing as Ainu up here, and I want to conquer, reconquer, Japan. These were the people who originally controlled Japan, and the people who are today Japanese migrated from the Korean Peninsula, and s they settled around here and slowly pushed the Ainu back, 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 back up toward this northern island, uh, crap, is it Hosokawa? Is, is that it? Oh, man, I forget its name. Does it say in the map? No. I think it's Hosokawa. Anyway, what I want to do is take back Japan. That's it. Make an Ainu Japan. And of course, I'm going to be, uh, animist. But the thing is, we have this special government, the Siberian Clan Council. Which means we have lower stability cost, yay, but higher technology cost. Boo. Uh, so we need to reform the government. And that's not going to happen for a long time. Anyway, uh, these guys up here are Ainu. So I thought I would declare war on this very weak area, Yeren, before they were gobbled up by all their neighbors. And I would take some land. So that's what I'm doing now. Well, that went well. I occupied... Sakhalin, Deren, and Miyugasan, and they were conquered by these other people, which reduced their size enough that they would become my vassals. So now they're my vassals! Yay! We can't get royal marriages, though. That stinks, but oh well. Yay! Now I think if I wait a month, we can trade in this node. No, we can't trade in this node. Okay, well, still though, fun. I got a vassal. That will help me, because the Japanese... Well, not help me because the Japanese will attack me. The Japanese are going to attack me soon, I think. So it's nice to have as much power as I can before the Japanese come and ransack me. I also could take these provinces up here, but they just totally suck. I don't see the point. Um... Yeah. So, anyway, I need to get, get a bigger navy now. Jinzhou? Jan? Janzhou? Is that how you say it? Anyway, I want to conquer them too, but that's going to be a little difficult. Oh well. Anyway, right now I'm trying to improve my relations with Korea, so I can get a lovely alliance with them. And then I'll see what I can do about taking more of Manchuria. Okay, our good friends in Zhengzhou are busy fighting a war against Korea and losing, so I'm going to quickly invade and try to take as much land as possible before they are conquered by somebody else. So, invade! Oh, hey, my vassal's helping, too. Good. Oops, I forgot to get a military general. Oh, well, that's fine. Take as much land as possible, as quickly as possible, right now! Okay, good. Now, we don't have enough troops to actually conquer anything. Okay, yeah, we have a tiny... Ooh, that's nice, but I'll need these points to win, to end the war. Nah, I'll just do it now. Uh, anyway, we don't have enough troops to actually fully besiege these provinces, but we can pretend to for a while. And that's okay. Just have to wait for our vassal to do it for us. We'll probably be able to vassalize Zhengzhou. Uh, right? Ayuna vassal, yeah. And plus they're going to become smaller due to being at war with Haishi and Korea, so yeah. It should be no sweat. And I can't ally with Korea, unfortunately. Oh, well. Uh-oh. Go away. Go away. We don't want you here. Oh, thank you, Korea. Oh, are you helping with the siege? Oh, that's so nice of you, Korea. Well, anyway, more waiting. Okay, so, I won the war. Now... Hai Shi here. Uh, Zhou, I guess. Hai Shi is in this war actually to make John Zhou a vassal. So if I stay in the war, I'll be at war with both Korea and Hai Shi. And well, I bet you could figure out how that would end. Though I got some military technology three, which is pretty good for you know for me. What's this? Migrate. Wait, I can migrate? 
Oh man, I should be playing as one of these guys then. They have one province, they can migrate. I can't migrate with only, well, I mean, with four provinces that I started with. Darn. Also, I gave my vassals more land, so they like me more now. Um, hmm. Three years till they rebel. Well... It shouldn't be too hard, right? Yawn! Oh my goodness, nothing has happened. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's been quite a while. Um, I'm trying to get Korea as a ally. I'm so close, but yeah, no. Anyway, I'm gonna annex Yeren here in uh, one month, I think. So woohoo! Oh, I can advance in diplomatic technology too. Awesome. That should increase my income by a tiny amount. Oh my goodness, increase it by point one. That's amazing. Look at all these troops I'm gonna get next month. I'm gonna be so powerful. Oh my goodness! Ho ho! I did it! Yes! Finally, I have an army and a navy that I can use for stuff. Exciting. Oh, barks, those are way too expensive. I don't have the. I don't have the money to support those. Galleys and cogs are fine. Okay, so now. Oh yeah, my guys look like uh, Eskimos. It's cool. Anyway, I'm way over my force limit, but of course my force limit will change next month as it adjusts to me owning all this land. Okay, and I'm still way over my force limit. limit. Why? Why is that? It's, it's gone. Also, stop that. Do I get the money back? No. Well, Manchu is an accepted culture, so that's not nice, I guess. Um, are they threatening revolt? Yes, they are. Oh, 151 years, that's, that's not quite soon. I will give these guys harsh treatment, though. Why am I losing so much money? Why is my force limit still really low? Shouldn't it be higher because I just got... Oh, it's because of local autonomy. Oh, shucks. Okay. Um... Man, do I dare? There. Alright, I did it in one province. How did that affect things? 71 years? 15 years! Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, well, let's lower military maintenance for the moment. Okay, so how much money am I losing for the ships? Almost nothing. That's absolutely not of any concern. Um... Soldiers, though. Soldiers are expensive. It's still six. I have to lose some units. Uh, let's just delete four, I guess. Alright, that's better. Um, that income will improve with time. So now it's back to more waiting. Really, I think I became weaker once I uh, annex them. Oh, my diplomatic reputation went down, too, so no more allies for me. But, I mean, I did annex a bunch of land. But the local autonomy thing is really nasty. Um, more waiting, I guess. Yes! Yes! Alliance with Korea! Yes! Oh, we're finally going to be safe, I think. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And these guys... 29 years, 2 years, but it only costs 70 points to suppress them, so we're going along just fine. It's going to be a long time before we're actually, you know, really in a good spot to uh, take over more land. But for now, for now, we can just consolidate what we have, and my force limit's up to 6 now. Woohoo! Yeah, and I'll just wait until I'm more powerful, which is going to be another 50 years or so. I have to wait for this local autonomy stuff to go down, and it takes a long time. So be it. So be it. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to happen. They're at war with everybody. They're at war with Haishi and Korchin and 
and and in Japan. Man, what am I supposed to do against that? I, I mean, oh, but man, I mean, it could be an opportunity to get more land, but I could also just get my face wrecked. Considering the size of the army, I'm thinking the former will happen. <sighs> Alright, here's what we'll do. Save the game. Try it. If things don't work, then... We can do something else. Ah, finally! Yeah, uh, Buryantia declared war on me. I can't actually go defend this province. I have no access to it, so... Whatever, they can take it. Anyway, form the government. You lose five stability! Oh, that's not great. Let's not... Let's not do that for a while. Let's get some more administrative power first. About 800 more. Jeez. Sigh. I got bored of waiting for them to finally accept the white peace, and High Shi declared war on me. So... I lose. Korea broke their alliance. I'm extremely weak. Completely unable to defend myself against my neighbors, so that's it. I lose. That's the end of this little campaign. Turns out, it's impossible. Why do I always pick goals that are impossible? Ah!